What's up, Dominic community? My name is Lily Hevish, and today I'll be teaching you how to build crossing sign mod lines. So get your dominoes and let's start building. This is a really cool trick. It's sort of an extension of my previous domino tutorial that I made with Audrey on how to make a Sonomod line. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check out the video right over here. So to make a Sonomod crossover, we're going to start by making just a simple Sonomod line. Now I'm gonna take a horizontal domino and put it on the table. Now I'm gonna take the next domino and put it on the edge of the horizontal domino. And make sure there's only a little bit of space overlapping. You don't want it to be too far on the domino, otherwise it might lock up, but also not too much on the edge that it could accidentally fall over if I were to maybe tap the table or something like that. I'm gonna keep building this line and now we can start turning it and then have it cross over and make a loop. Turning a Sonomon line is just a matter of angling the dominoes. Now you sort of want to balance the domino too, like right on the edge here. Now make sure when you're putting the dominoes in the curve, it's not too sharp of a turn, otherwise it could potentially fall off by accident. So just very slight angles. And we want to overlap the crossover over the lower end of the Sonomon. So that would be like right here, for example, instead of over here. So once the Sonomon line is close to the original line that you built, what we're gonna do is make a little platform for the Sonomon line to go over. It's sort of like making a staircase. I'm just gonna put a horizontal domino like this, and then I'm gonna place the next domino right on top of it. So now it's just an elevated Sonomon line. Now we can do the same thing on the opposite side. I'll take another horizontal domino, place it down, and then I'm just gonna shift this over. Oh no, I knocked it down. Be careful of it falling, because that could happen. And there's no way to really make safety gaps. So um, I'm gonna just quickly rebuild this and we're gonna go back to where we were. All right, so I just rebuilt it. We're good now. I'm gonna place the horizontal domino one more time like this. Now you might have to adjust the spacing or the sharpness of this curve in order to make the horizontal domino line up with the place you want to cross over because we wouldn't want this pink domino, for example, to end up being too far on top of the previous domino because then it might not fall over. We still want just a little bit of the domino on this blue domino. So, you know, what you can do is you can move around this curve if you need more space in between this domino and the line that you've already built. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And now again, we can place the horizontal domino on the opposite side and continue the Sonomon line. So now this is like the step stone to go down back to the ground. Now, because this blue domino is elevated from the ground and if I were to place the next one, it just wouldn't really reach it. We're going to make a half step by stacking two dominoes together and then putting the next domino on top of that. And now it can slowly and gradually go back down to the ground. So we can keep on building, place the next domino like this, and then to knock it down, of course, you just tap the first domino, pull it out, or have another domino line trigger it. So I'm gonna place a domino here, and that is how you make a Sonomod crossover. So let's topple this thing. Three, two, one, go. Perfect fall down. Now if we watch this trick in slow motion, it topples just like Sonomod. The domino line goes over the green dominoes and continues back down to the ground. Pretty simple, huh? Now you could expand on this crossing Sonomod trick even more. Like you could have a whole line of these horizontal dominoes that are one layer above the normal ground level and have it cross back and forth a million times or you know, even make, instead of having half a domino, you could put a full length domino and raise it up even taller if you need to or even shorter. Like whatever you want, you can vary the height of it and just play around with the trick and do anything. If you haven't seen my video called Domino Tricks with Sonomod, I also recommend watching that over here. You'll get some more ideas for crossing Sonomods and everything to do with Sonomod in that video. So I'm planning to make a whole bunch of tutorials based around the Sonomod technique and my next one will be how to make a Sonomod line go back to a domino line. If it's already live, you can check it out right over here. And if you're looking for dominoes specifically for toppling, I recommend my own H5 Domino Creations. These are made in collaboration with Spin Master and these are the highest quality dominoes made for toppling. Our featured community member is Danish 3 dominoes who left this awesome comment on my last video. Thank you for participating in the challenge. I hope you're building and having fun. You can check out more domino tutorials by clicking below. And as always, I'm Lily Hevish and keep on building. Thank you.